I think that thinking of academia as this thing that's beyond human beings, like is a big flaw. Like teachers, faculty, professors, they're human beings, they're learning, they're growing, but I think challenging our expectations of what they're, of what they're responsible for um, and to be nice people is, is a really positive thing to do. Yeah, just be nice. <laughs> just be nice. <laughs> I know my mantra is like, be nice, work hard. You'll get a lot done. No. Yeah. And, and I think, you know, like, like you were saying, what, what you love about teaching is the reward of, of seeing a student finding themselves and, and growing and getting there. And, you know, I'm questioning like, well, what are teachers who are not nice to their students? What is their reward? Right? Like, what is there for them to gain by doing that? And what is there for the students to get from, from being treated this way? Yeah, I mean, but I think people, people perform for different reasons. I love praise. I love people saying, great job. So I will do work to it. But I think there are people who perform for different reasons. Like, and I think different tax work for different people. Um, like our school shouldn't be like a factory model, one size fits all. And so I, something that I remind my students is you have in undergraduate 10 semesters with 10 different faculty members. And it's your responsibility to understand that these are all different point of view. They are all teaching you in a different way. Um, and you can take what you want from that. Like you don't have to practice in the same way as like uh, one faculty member and then, but, but you get the opportunity to see into a bunch of different people's minds. And like, I think especially teaching the foundational courses, the foundational studios, I kind of expect my students to hear my voice in their heads by the end of the semester. Like they kind of should expect to know what I'm gonna respond with if they bring a certain type of material in. And I, it's not a negative thing. It's just like, okay, why would you, why, like, let's talk about why you chose to do that. I think that's interesting. Yeah. I mean, if a, if a person, if a student has been paying attention and working hard and putting in the effort and they show up to reviews and stuff, that makes total sense that they would. And, and, and I like also what you said about, you know, recognizing that you're going to go through the, this experience of four or five years and it's a, a cross sector, it's a sampling of different things. Right. And to be able to kind of, you know, jump into the mind of a particular teacher and and really understand things from their perspective is a is a much higher level higher level view to have right about the whole thing but probably really important especially in the um well at every year but maybe even more uh, difficult to to have when you are first starting off yeah i i think i mean i think especially i don't know if you guys hear the the voice of your first architecture faculty member in your head but i still sometimes do like I still hear Andrea Simich in my head, um, and I'm not mad about it. I mean, she terrified me at the beginning. I adore her, but like, I know what she would say about a lot of the work that I do. Is it good? <laughs> Hopefully. Um, in your head, it's good. Yeah, she's like, you're amazing, Aaron. Um, <laughs> no, Andrea would never say that. Um, I Yeah, and I think that our... Our, our understanding of our students, like we're meeting them halfway often, you know, I, I don't mind if someone disagrees with me, but they have to fight for it. Um, like pr prove it to me why you think you should do it. And, and by taking that ownership, I think you grow further. And so sometimes I'll, I'll push my students. I, I mean, you kind of have to work with your students differently. Each student is different. Some, you want to just kind of like let loose some you want to guide some you want to like hold back um and to see who rises to the challenge that's also really rewarding yeah that's one of the fun parts about teaching is that each time you meet a student for let's say an individual desk on uh, day one or it could be the you know last week before the quarter or semester ends it's like Every student is a different challenge, and it's 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 interesting. So, like, even if studio lasts is lasts lasts uh, five hours, and you have to see twelve students, the twelve student is just as interesting usually as the first because it's a completely different human being, 
they have different problems, they have a different perspective, different, um, you know, uh, experiences of growing up and, and therefore hopefully a different project. And it, it's just, it's like, it's fun. Like every, every student is a different piece of candy or something. You know? Delicious. Oh, uh, you're the Sour Patch of the group. Uh, <laughs> I like <laughs> just Sour <kidding>. Patch. <laughs> I like Sour Patch too. <laughs> you're the uh, Jujube of the group. <laughs> Resilient, uh, not very much. Yeah, I, I, like, I think like in marriage, you learn to understand your 